Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In this Blender tutorial, which will be quite short, I'm going to be showing you guys how to retopologize text inside Blender. So retopologize in the sense of automating things just with few clicks and you get really nice looking topology for your text. Most of the reason or the main reason why I usually prefer to retopologize my text is um, basically I want to apply subdivision. I also want to have like a nice UV map going on the text. And most of the client work I do require me to like provide nice looking topology for the text. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I go about achieving that inside Blender. So let's just go to the top view. And I'm going to go ahead and add a text. So for this text, I'm going to be um, using Lewis Art for it. Okay. So now uh, let's go ahead and look at what we were working with. So if I enable the wire frame, we can see the disaster going on here. I mean, you can work with this in certain situations whereby you don't need uh, much details or you don't need to add subdivision or do cool stuff like that. Uh, but if you look at this, this mesh um, would definitely not work with subdivision. We could even try. If I go to modifier and add subdivision, we can see how it's behaving. Um, so we want a cleaner mesh that can work with subdivision. So what you want to do, first of all, is go ahead, selecting this mesh. You want to go to convert, convert mesh from curve. Okay. So it looks like nothing happens, but if you go into the edit mode, you can see now we are able to select different points. So this is just indicating we have converted it into a mesh. For the next step, we just want to go ahead and add the decimate modifier. The main reason for this is to just clean up the mesh slightly and reduce the those reduce the unwanted edges and polygons. Okay. So let's just drag the slider down. As you can see, we are, we are getting rid of these edges. So we'll just reduce it slightly. But you want to make sure you still retain um, the shape of the text because if you lose it, you just definitely, you lost the essence, essence of the whole stuff. So, um, once you, you, you've decimated it into a, to a position where you're happy, um, you can go ahead and apply this. And now we'll go again to the convert and convert it to a curve so we can get this nice outline. Okay. And now finally we'll convert it back to a mesh so that we can be able to edit the outline. Okay, so um, now what, what we just want to do is hit F to fill up the face of this text. So um, basically what we do from here is just go, going ahead, selecting two points and hitting J to make it a clear, um, to combine them. So if you can see that's how we'll just go ahead and get um, clean mesh. Uh, but before you go, um, there's still a lot of things to um, show you guys. But let's select this face. You can see we don't have um, we don't have a hole here, so we need this hole. Um, in most instances, you might have more than this, like in, in for later letters like B O um, stuff like that. You will definitely run into this issue, so it's no problem. Um, I got your back. So basically, what you want to do is select this loose face, okay, and um, hit B. Um, selection, it's going to make it its own mesh. So now we just extrude this upwards and move this down to so intercept with the text. And I, I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this now. So I'm just going to add the Boolean and apply it. And we have the hole there. So that's basically how you go about that. So as I said, from here, we just go ahead and just do this. So basically what you need to do is just select two points, hit J. This should take you like five to 10 minutes, depending on the amount of text you have. Um, 
So you just select um, also, and so you want to try as much as possible to have quartz. But if you don't have quartz, um, the basic thing you can do is hit K for the knife tool. And you can, um, for instance, we can just select a point and double click it. You can actually use this knife tool for the entire process. You can use it to create um, new points. Okay, so that's basically what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna pause the video and then clean this up, uh, just connect everything and we'll see in a bit. So I've been able to clean up and just connect the points and this is what you get. Uh, like I said, basically what you need to do is connect the points and use the knife tool to create extra vertices um, to fill up those points. Okay, so the next stage is actually to apply the subdivisions or we could just um, see how the, the edge flow is going now. As you can see we can get really nice stuff going there, which is really gonna help. And when we add text or shaders, it's going to even work even better. Okay, so if we go ahead and add the subdivision, we can see how smooth it is. And the reason why the rest of the text are not behaving like this W here is because I've gone ahead and added, um, I don't know what you call this again, um, let me see, creases. I went ahead and added creases and I'm gonna show you guys how I add that. So we wanna fix this W um, to look like, uh, look as sharp as the rest to match the underlining text. So what you want to do, is basically what I do is I uncheck this edit preview. So when I go into edit mode, I can see the text as it is. But when I come to um, the object mode, I can see the subdivision taking effect. So I know this place, I need it to retain the shape. So I'm just gonna select this point, this edge is here. Also select this one and select this two and hit shift E and just press one. So it's gonna sharp, it's gonna sharpen, it's gonna sharpen that area. And I'm going to repeat it here. I'm gonna select this edge, one, two, one, two, and hit shift E and hit one, or I can go to the two or the item. And here in the main crazy, you can reduce this value. So I'm setting it to one. That's how we get the sharp edges. So I'm gonna do it for this too, shift E one. So for this, just select this two point, select these two edges, shift E one, and we get a sharp edge. We repeat it for this. And finally, select this edge, connecting it and shift E. And we get the sharp edge and let's do this one. <laughs> So we need to select this to edge and also hit shift E one. Cool. So um, now we have nice topology. Um, we have text with a nice topology and also works well. And we can add the solidifier modifier. Okay. So um, you, you might run into this. Um, basically what you want to do is select this, select each of the faces behaving weird. I'm going opposite the Geometry and hit W. Oh, uh, I think you can even just search it and search for flip. Flip normals. And once you flip it, that fixes it. So let's see what we have going on here. So we can smooth this out. And the higher we add subdivision, it gets sharper. Well, usually you don't want to go that high. So let's say two. And then we'll add like a bevel modifier just to bring everything all together. And we'll set it from none to angle to get it looking sharp. So yeah, that's how you can get a nice retopologized geometry very fast. So that's it guys. I hope this was um, this was helpful. It turned out to be a long tutorial. Anyways, um, if you've stayed, um, if you've watched up to this extent, congratulations. 
you're the watch end club so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed bye bye for now see you next time